another question from a person in the class would say, due to high uh, feed prices and low margin, is it a good time uh, to think about calling low producing cows? And the answer is yes, it can be. And I would argue every Illinois dairy farmer or Wisconsin or Pennsylvania number should know what that number is. Typically, it's around 30 pounds, 35 pounds. It says once that cow gets below that point, then uh, she no longer is a profitable cow. And of course, that will depend also if you've got a heifer or another cow to come in and take her place at this point in the program. Now, the bad news is, from the person who asked the question, is that usually in low-producing cows, assuming you have a low-production group or you're in a stanchion barn and you feed individually, these cows don't need very much grain or soybean meal if your core forage quality is good. So it's kind of a mixed answer. Uh, depending on your feeding system. Now, if you're a one group TMR, then the answer is pretty straightforward. Yes, this would be a go time to call, and I won't call them low pr producing cows, let's call them unprofitable cows. And that would be another way to reduce the amount of feed you'd have to purchase. And those cows obviously are not returning any, any return. And that profit number probably has gone up a little bit. For example, here uh, last year, a 10 cents per pound of dry matter was very typical in Illinois. Now it's 12 cents. So if my cows are eating 50 pounds of dry matter, that's a dollar increase in feed price. That's a big number, uh, especially when milk prices appear to be getting softer uh, coming down here in the, here in the in Illinois and in the U.S. as well. So again, uh, another question might be, you know, uh, what what diet are these cows getting? But the point is, you should know what that break-even number is. My guess is higher than it was say six months ago, and you have cows on the farm. Let's go ahead and cull them out and uh, you're spot on.